My name is Sean Hill. I am a black poet who will not remain silent while this nation murders black people. I have a right to be angry. A photograph taken in Duluth. My grandmother says, beg pardon, when she hasn't heard what you've said or is certain you can't have meant what she heard, like, I think the moon must have squinted at the dim light of that gas lamp post and the three men that hung from it. What I mean is, three men, black, in town with the circus, accused of the usual lynch law crime, were chosen from six and dragged from jail, one by one by men who formed a mob, propped up by thousands of bystanders who didn't join in with the hoisting of these men up the lamppost for allegedly violating a white woman, of course. But registered approval with fists and feet while they made way for the black men or didn't stop the hand or foot of the woman or man next to them. So three beaten bodies violently shook, shuddered, sputtered blood on those close by, and came to rest. My grandmother says, hush, when she's heard what you've said and doesn't want to believe it. But I have a photograph proof of what happened in Duluth. For that, I must say, thank you kindly. That's how my grandmother always says it. To a photographer from just across the bay in Superior, Wisconsin, on hand with the thousands of other souls crowding downtown Duluth that June evening. I know he didn't take it for me. My grandmother says, have mercy when she's heard burdensome truth. Such as the photograph was soon made into a postcard that sold quite well in local retail outlets as a memento. My grandmother didn't know these men. She wasn't born yet, but doesn't need to be shown the photograph to know the crowd of white faces staring into the searchlight. Some lean forward and stretch their necks to make certain they're in the picture. One smiles while Elias Clayton's body lies face down at his feet, hung so high they had to cut him down to be in the shot. And Isaac McGee and Elmer Jackson hang with their necks stretched, heads lolled to the side faces turned as if they should be the ones bearing the shame or regret. This photo isn't necessary for my grandmother to know that this happened and can still happen. And that's why my grandmother sighs and says,